Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to go over the setup and unboxing of the InnoSilicon A4 LTC Master. So this is the InnoSilicon Litecoin Miner. They sent it to me for free for being late on the delivery of the A5 Dash Miner. So I pre-ordered the A5 Dash Miner, this one here, and it was like two months, two and a half months late, which ruined the whole profitability of the machine pretty much. So. To make up for the loss, they sent a new A4 plus Litecoin miner. So let's get into it. I'm going to go through an unboxing, a setup, and we're going to see exactly um, how, how this machine works. So, okay, there is the unit. So as you can see here, A4 plus LTC master. Seems to have a little bit better build actually. It's heavier. But I don't know. It's really it's really similar to the Bitmain machines. So there's the machine. Now we're gonna do an unboxing of their power supply. So I'm gonna be using the Inno Silicon power supply for this and see how that looks okay here's the power supply it's a little bit slimmer than bit mains and one of the good things about you know silicon's power supplies if you can see here it has an on and off switch so bit mains does not have on and off switch so you just plug it in and it turns on it's kind of nice having a power switch so yeah this is a 220 volt so to use these you're gonna need to have 220 volt. They do have a 110 volt available, but it's more efficient to use the 220 volt. And there's a couple of different plugs. So when you go have your electrical system set up, these are both 220 volts and you can get plugs for both. But if you're gonna install these in your walls and rooms and data centers, wherever you're putting these, I would suggest using this one. It's a 20 amp. It just gives you future upgrades. It's easier. So you, if you're going to put one in, you might as well do a 20 amp. It also works with the 15 amp. As you can see, both lines go side by side. It's a 15 amp um, 220 volt system. This one can go to 20 amps. Now the amp miners themselves do not use that many amps. Um, this will probably use six, maybe seven amps. And you're going to need a plug such as this. So. This is what the plug looks like, and that fits in the 20 amp. You could use a 15 amp plug also, but again, if you're gonna, if you're going to install these in your, if you already have one of these, don't worry about it. Just get the 15 amp plug. But if you're going to install these, you can go ahead and um, I would put the 20 amp. Just let that in case you need to use something that needs more power in the future. Now let's go to the mining room and install the miner. Okay, we're entering the secret location of the mining room. Top secret. This is it. So let's take a look in here. Okay, I have the miner in place. Everything is hooked up, it's powered on. Close that in there. Now we'll go inside and configure it on the computer. Once you have the miner set up and you need to set it up and point it to your pool, I would recommend going to the InnoSilicon webpage, go to their support page, support center at the top of their page called support center. Go there and go to the A4 Miner Support download section. And you may need to update your firmware. So let's look at the versions and compare it to yours and see if you need to update. If you just got it, you probably do. I had to update mine. It's really simple. Just go through that steps and update the... Pretty much you just look at the version number. You look at the date to see which way you need to do it. If you got this recently, you probably just need to do the, the bin file. Download that bin file and then go to the miner page and um, it'll, you upload it and it'll go through the update process automatically. 
But to get to the admin page where you need to configure it, first you need to download the manual. And you can go through this if you want to. I'm going to skip through and go to the main points of what you need to do to get this running. Okay, to first access the miner, you need to go to the default IP address, which is 192.168.1.254. You can see that right here. It'll be in the PDF file for the manual, so you can copy and paste it from there. Paste that into your browser, and it's going to pull up an admin page that's going to look like this. So I have mine here, as it's showing 663 mega hash, which is great. I think they advertise 620, so it's getting more than they advertise. And what you want to do is go to the minor configuration page and click config at the bottom right. There is a password. The default password is in the manual. So if you scroll down here, it says the default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So enter that to get to the configuration page. And then you're going to enter the pools that you want to for just like you would any other miner. Enter them in there, click save, and it's going to reboot. And within probably 20 minutes or so, it'll start up and you'll be able to read the, the results. And that's pretty much it. So far, it's so good. It's working. It's running. The admin page looks good. It's pretty much the same as um, the Bitmain one. Actually, it looks a little updated, but similar. It's nice. They give you option for one more pool, which is good. So you can have four instead of three. A few other settings that you can do, but other than that, it looks good. And so far, it's working great. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Any suggestions, post them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.